Hey. hey everyone, this is Warren from the Rhapsody Piano Studio. I want to welcome you to today's live stream. We're going to be working on, I'm going to show you how to practice under my skin. This is going to be for intermediate piano. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, hit that notification bell too so you can get all the reminders uh, of when these lessons come out and also when my tutorials come out as well. Last but not least, make sure to hit up the cards and the video description for links to the sheet music and the video tutorial after you're done with this lesson. All right, I'm gonna scoot this camera forward. Get as much as the piano as possible. Keep this straight. Okay, all right, here we go. So this is, I've got you under my skin. Okay, so let me give you the first one, two, three, four measures uh, into measure five, okay? Sorry. All right, so uh, that, first, that first note, there is an eighth rest in that first measure, so make sure you count that correctly. So it's almost like beat. Now I'm kind of counting the beat here, so it goes one, right? One and two, right? One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and two. Yeah, I mean, it is in four beats, you know, four beats per measure, it says four over four, but I more or less, when I'm practicing this, I feel it in two beats. So when you, if you're using a metronome, make sure to practice four beats to measure to each measure and also two beats to each measure. It just helps the flow a little bit more. Make sure this mic is on point. All right, cool. Okay, so let me try it one more time. So it's like one and two and go. <laughs> So those rests on that first beat, that can really throw a lot of people off. So make sure you count that, okay? All right, now let's try it together. One and two and go. Okay, uh, as always, just a little tip. If you're using my tutorial or even this lesson, if it's going a little too fast, go ahead and hit that playback speed button to, to slow down. All right, now I'm gonna go for measure five. And I'll show you hands separate from, from here on out. I'll do hands together first, and then we'll practice hands separate. And you know, these little sections I'm showing you are how you should be practicing, okay? So we're starting on got you, all right? All right, so I'm stopping at measure nine. Here's the right hand. So, you know, I got a lot of explanation in this video um, because I think it's just better for you to watch and just figure it out, okay? Because I'm not going to go and tell you, all right, here's a triplet. Yeah, I think a lot of times when we're learning something, we get too caught up in the explanation. So just watch and just do it, okay? All right, let me show you one more time. Let's try that together. Ready, go. Got you under my skin. Okay, now here's the left hand. Let's try it together. Ready, go. Back to both hands. Let's try it together now. Ready, go. All right, next part. This is measure nine. That measure 13. Here's the right hand. Okay, together now. Ready, go. Okay, 
Raise the left hand. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Actually, you know, if you look at the first one, two, three, four measures, it's actually exactly the same. So you really don't even need to practice that. So you could technically just do right hand and hands together. Wherever one part um, repeats, that's a good way to practice. It will save you time, okay? Measure nine. Try it together now. Ready, go. All right, now what you're going to want to do here is go back and connect it to that little portion we did in the beginning, the beginning part, okay? Uh, you might want to just go back to the, the beginning, beginning to tie that all in together, okay? So here it is from the very beginning of this entire song, okay? You would do that hands separate, then hands together. I'm not gonna do that, because uh, I just wanna save time, and we're gonna keep on going. Uh, but you want to look for wherever you can to connect these little parts that we're doing into bigger parts, all right? Here is deep in my heart, and we're gonna keep going for measure, that's measure 13. <laughs> I'm gonna stop at measure 17, deep in my heart. Let's try it together. Ready, go. All right, so I'm doing a lot of pedal here to help connect the legato, you know, when we're just doing one hand to, um, you know, make sure that all the notes are connecting. But you might want to not practice with any pedal in the beginning if that's too much, all right? Here's the left hand. All right, sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> Ready, go. Try it together. Ready, go. All right, back to both hands. Okay, now, oh yeah, let's try it together. Uh, ready, go. Measure 17. Okay, here's a right hand. This is measure 17 to 21. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta do that together. Ready, go. Left hand. Together now, ready, go. Okay, both hands. Try it together now. Ready, go. All right, then you go back to 13 and put them together. Sorry. <laughs> Then you'd actually go back to the beginning and then put that together. All right, all right. Let's keep it going. Um, if you need to pause, go ahead and do that. 
or you know, you just basically remember this general outline. That's why I made these tutorials so you can just remember this um, basic plan. And when you're practicing, just you know, do it exactly the way I'm showing you here. All right, let's go over measure 21. All right, uh, technically it starts on the pickup to that. Okay, but you know, I'll just to make it easier. Let's just start right at 21. there just a slight difference from the beginning uh, the right hand is the only thing new is uh, measure 25 so this part since it's so similar to what we're doing so far I suggest just doing both hands here okay Let's try it together now ready go okay moving on this is 25 See that. All right, let me try it again. Stopping at 25. All right, here's the right hand. Okay, let's try to try that together. Ready, go. Left hand. Okay, try it together now. Ready, go. All right, back to both hands. Together now, ready, go. Okay, moving on. This is 29 to, I jeez, all right, this is not good copy. Two, wait, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 29, 33. All right, so. Miss that. Okay, see if I can catch that patient. Okay, here's your right hand. All right, so uh, why should I try to resist? This part's gonna take some practice, so really slow it down here. Let me show you what's going on. So oh, I can't really see it, huh? All right. Let me fix the angle on this camera on my iPhone. See if you can get a better view of the piano keys. I hope this helps. I guess a little bit better. Let me back this up. Okay. So let me show you again. Yeah, that's much better. And then resist when darling I. Right. You gotta from here. You gotta quickly move to no so well. And they want it 4 2 on that, so it's almost from here to. Okay? Well, I guess you could also do 1 and 2. It's like whichever you prefer, alright? Okay. But well, I'll just do it the way it's written, even though that might not be the greatest suggestion. Just, you know, uh, use your brain and take a little. <laughs> I'm not calling you dumb, alright? Uh, but, you know, when you're practicing, these are just general guidelines. But feel free to change it however you want, okay? Ready, go. Okay, did I count the right one? Two, sorry. That's how it's supposed to go. Okay, sorry about that. Here's the left hand. Okay, together now. Ready, go. Okay, 
together. Ready, go. Okay, now here it is for measure 25. So I cannot stress the importance of practicing section by section. It's just so frustrating that it's just like that. This, of course, of course, this is not taught in school. And every time I get a new student, they, I mean, this is so common sense. It just frustrates me that they don't teach this, you know. Because uh, most of the time, how do most people practice? They just play the whole thing from beginning to end, which is like the worst way to practice. Anyway, we're going to keep it going. I ran this over. So this is the next page. This is measure 33. That's like a little, I guess I could take this part and connect it to the section before. It's almost like a little transition, but anyway. All right, uh, you know, not a lot going on here. Let me show you both hands again, and then we'll just practice this part both hands, all right? Okay, let's try it together. Ready, go. from measure 37, uh, I'd sacrifice anything, yeah. Oh, a little tricky. Okay, here's the right hand. Okay, a lot of triplets here, so it's a good practice for for rhythm, for sure, right? Let's try it together. Ready, go. By the way, um, when you get to this point, if you're having trouble with this part, there's a couple things you can try, a couple strategies. Let's say, because yeah, I don't really think it's a good idea to just keep banging your head against the wall if it's not working. So if it's not working out for you, you know, two things to think about, is this the level you're supposed to be at? Because it shouldn't be that, that, I mean, it is a little bit of a challenge, but you know, it shouldn't be impossible for you. So if this is a little, if it's impossible, like you feel like it's getting impossible, then, you know, try some easier music until you come back to this level. The other thing you could try is if you really think you are supposed to be at this level and you're not getting it, just try it as much as you can. And it's almost like you feel like your breaking point, then just stop and then come back to it later. Like you can even come back to it like a month later or something like that too, seriously, okay? You will internalize it more or less sooner or later, okay? All right, here's the left hand, 37. Okay, let's try it together, left hand, ready, go. And I'm bringing this example up because I do have a student kind of frustrates me because he just makes it so hard on himself, a little older, an older dude. Um, but he just, you know, he just tries to keep up at it and to the point where it's almost like he, he's crying almost, right? Like, it, it, so I'll say you need to learn the art of the tactical retreat, right? It's not giving up, by the way, but it's just sometimes it just, it just frustrates me to see, you know, how difficult it is for him and he just won't give up on it, right? Um, so with him, what I did was kind of interesting. We did a little practice on this and then I saw he was having such a hard time with it and I told him to just stop. He had a really hard time with that. It's like he just had to keep playing it. I was like, no, just completely stop. We came back uh, to this piece maybe like two weeks, even three weeks later. And then it's like magic, like he could do it easily, right? All right, here's measure 37. We'll try it together. I'm gonna take it really slow because this is a pretty difficult part, right? Ready, go. All right, let's keep it going. Uh, 
Uh, one other thing I want to mention this section. Uh, I mean, with I mean, I, I love doing intermediate music just because you can do just more stuff. Um, but there's also there's more layers to this music, which is really cool. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, even this part, right? There's like three different parts here. There's the bass. Okay, and then the right hand, just the melody itself. Right, but besides that, there's like a middle section here, and you're gonna play that with the right hand. So it might be good practice for you if you want to try this out to practice each section, uh, each little layer um, individually, right? Because if you do that, you can really hear how these three come together. If you just do both hands, you're just, it just feels like it might just be one blob of notes together. But there are three different parts going on here. Really cool. Okay. All right. Here's the right hand. Try it together really slow. Ready, go. All right, left hand. Together, ready, go. Back both hands. Together now, ready, go. All right, here it is from measure 37, the section before. I think it looks like measure 45. No little full, okay? Stopping right there. Okay, here's the right hand. Okay, do that together. Ready, go. Left hand. Okay, together, ready, go. Okay, together now, ready, go. Do it again. Ready, go. Okay, next page, page four, measure forty nine. together. Ready, go. Yeah, this is a great arrangement by the way. Okay, here's the left hand. Rest. Count that rest. Okay, another rest. 
I always say the rest really make a big deal out of them because about 90% of my students always forget to count that rest, okay? All right, here we go. Together now, left hand. I will count rest and we'll start like rest, like that, okay? Ready, go, rest. Alrighty, back to both hands. Together, ready, go. Okay, next part. Um, uh, let me try it again. That <laughs> part's so cool. Okay. Here is the right hand, measure 53. It's gonna take a lot of practice with the right hand, a lot of different um, rhythm, ryth rhythmic rhythms, I guess, rhythms going on here, okay? Uh, let's try it together. Ready, go. Okay, left hand. Here, I'll just show you the simple chords. Here to here, and this, and this, and this. Show you again slow. Now here, there's a, a whole note on top. Try to hold this if you can, but this is quite advanced to hold these. Like, let me show you without any pedal right now. See? So I'm holding the thumb and doing these at the same time. It takes years, like, you know, with this whole finger independence thing, you, you know, see a lot of people obsessed about that. I'm telling you, it takes years, if not a decade, to get that good at it. So, try to hold this if you can, but if you can't, just use pedal, don't worry about it, okay? Alright, back to both hands. Alright, together now, ready, go. Let me put it together from 49, so the top of the page. Honestly, I'm not sure this is where this section starts, but that's, let me just show you like these, these little bigger parts, right? So that's what it sounds like from there, all right? Um, yeah, you know, listen to this a few times so you can figure out because I, you know, I haven't played this and, and taught this in a very long time. So, but if I if I was teaching it at a lesson, um, not like today, but like actual like private student, I'll probably be giving you like better sections to start from. So give this, you know, follow along with the music, and read the words, sing it with it if you like, and then you can you know do a little homework and figure out really where does each section start. Okay, all right. Now as measure thirty seven, let me give you. Uh, the first ending, okay, because there's a repeat. I'm not going to take that repeat for obvious reasons because I don't need to. All right, so there's 37 to that, uh, that double bar line with the repeat sign, okay? Back to the beginning, right? Okay, here's the right hand. Alright, that's right, okay. Here we go, right hand, ready, go. Okay, here's the left hand. <laughs> kind of blinked out. Okay, left hand, ready, go. Both hands. Mm -hmm. 
together now, ready, go. All right, now we just have to work on the last four measures, the second ending, this is measure 61. And that is it for today. If you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that, you know, consider hitting that like button, it really does help me out a lot. And if you know anyone who would love to learn this on piano, go ahead and share this video with them as well. All right, here's 61 to the end. Okay, pretty straightforward. Here's the right hand. Here's your left hand, and we'll just do hands together after this. Okay, back to both hands. Oh, that's not right. Okay, let's try it together, and that is it for today. Ready, go. That is it everyone. I want to thank you so much for watching. Oh, let me get this camera. Oh, okay, where is this? Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you.